we're back, people, and today we're breaking on film on AJ Barner, Michigan tight end for the 2024 NFL Draft. I like him as like a late round, uh, sort of like solid developmental guy. He comes in right away with like a decent floor too, because I think he's a quality blocker, uh, definitely technically sound in the running game, and then has I think some upside as a passing game guy. Tested pretty well. I think he shows off some good athleticism, especially after the catch. You can see you know him moving decently well in his route break there. It just is. It's more of a flash thing than a you know, him doing that consistently. But there, you know, some things to work with there. I could see him just being like a solid tight end two at the next level, getting the job done as a blocker and then being like a, you know, underneath uh, option in the passing game, check down type player and can, you know, get some extra yards going there. Uh, just nothing like too crazy. He doesn't have like any elite traits. So Barner, he does a lot of things. I like a solid average sort of level, you know, sometimes adequate to... Uh, and, you know, to me, you can find, uh, you know, a lot of those guys kind of at the NFL level that are like tied in too, kind of do things on a similar level coming out and uh, he can, you know, be an inline guy, go out, block out in space, pass protection, be that underneath sort of option for you. I just feel like as a late round guy at the tight end position and in a weaker class, I'm, you know, I'm not against taking him. There's definitely some upside there with also a decent floor with, you know, his run game technique, things to watch for. Uh, we can go back, look at this. He does a really good job on these combos with his offensive lineman attacking the low hip. He does a really good job with his leverage. You attack that low hip, helps create a lot of displacement. And then he does a great job climbing the next level and, you know, cutting people off. Uh, whether he's going to, you know, kick them out, just shield them off. Uh, and he does a really good job overall, usually like staying square, using good hand placement, good bend, bending in the knees, solid base. Very fun to watch him work in the, those kind of situations. Another example of him doing it here a little bit. Uh, you know, different this time, he kind of, you know, bangs down on that guy and moves him out of the way and then gets to the next level. The other one, he uh, displaced a little bit more, sustained a little bit longer than climbed. This one, he just instantly gets out there, uh, cuts off his guy. Uh, just very good job staying under control as well. Like, he's not panicking at all. And then just really quality technique here, good positioning, and your running back's able to work off of it and you're able to sustain and uh, drive that guy a few extra yards those are things you want to see out of you know a late round tight end prospect you know go out there do some decent blocking because a lot of these guys are kind of uh one way type of players like they are either quality pass catchers and really terrible, terrible blockers or they're uh great blockers and have nothing in the pass game i feel like barner's a bit of a mix like he's definitely a better blocker but can give you at least something in the passing game some of the you know pass catcher tightings really give you nothing uh, as run blockers so, you know, if you want a guy that can give you a little bit of both, be a little well-rounded, which you're kind of looking for for these tight end twos, you're not looking for your tight end two to three to be, like, solely a pass catcher. Those guys really usually have a hard time finding a role at the next level. Um, but, yeah, this is, could be, like, a, you know, the, those tight ends that kind of just sticks around for a while. is never elite, never a top-tier player. Usually not even a tight end one, but uh, they stick around on your team. And here you can see him, you know, working like this return hard side of the outside change direction pretty nicely so some twitch there not super explosive and i think you know he can struggle to get in on his breaks when he's running routes but you can see the flash that is shown on this play there's you know uh setting it up good tempo giving you know a little skip off the line uh you know at least trying to work at different releases things like that and i think you know athletically he tested like a lot of his like numbers were either like average or slightly above average and then he also has you know decent size but his ras overall end up being pretty pretty good here we get to see him you know basically be a you know a chip option here you know get hands on slow down the edge catch the ball he has reliable hands i feel like that's probably where he's most successful in the passing game is his hands uh, he makes a lot of you know nice catches obviously right there it's nothing too crazy he's just catching a check down but even then like down the field uh he'll find those soft spots for his zones and make tough catches uh pretty intelligent football player and you can see some of the juice after the catch to make people miss i feel like that's where he looks most athletic is when he gets the ball after the catch here you can see him kind of like kick out an edge defender square him up boom love the the pop here low leverage kind of lift his guy up and now you're uh sustaining kind of readjusting your leverage right there now kick him out drive him off the screen uh, screen good leg drive and this ends up you know the running back kind of runs into this but this ends up creating a huge hole to the outside uh, that he helped create there so really good job from aj barner use him in different ways you know he can be that in line on the line of scrimmage or he can be you know a little bit off the line of scrimmage move across on split zone or he's inserting in here to take on a linebacker at the second level 
takes a great angle. This is all about creating angles and leverage to attack that inside half of the linebacker, seal it off, and, you know, do exactly what your job was supposed to do here as uh, kick that guy out. So, burner. And then he, you know, creates even more space after he gets engaged with the guy. So I do like watching his film versus the block, uh, versus, you know, uh, linebackers specifically when he can climb to the second level. Here, you know, it looks like he might work a combo, but this guy kind of squares him up, so he just instantly goes to the linebacker, does another good job taking care of him, finish that play. And, you know, I wouldn't say he's the most violent overall player, but when he gets the chance to finish, put you on your back, he's going to do it. He can also go out in space and make blocks, uh, get out there. You know, that's going to be important on screens, things like that. You know, you line him wide to be a blocker in those, you know, situations on RPOs, uh, swing passes, things like that, and Barner. Does a pretty good job. Nice to see him. I feel like, you know, he's a better blocker as an inline guy, but you can get him on the move, and he does a good job uh, with, like, his pace uh, getting there, squaring guys up, kind of kicking them out. Not really whiffing either. Like, he stays under control pretty well, and they can also get engaged and sustain, which a lot of guys can struggle with. So, AJ Barner's film, overall, pretty solid. Like watching him in the running game. Definitely uh, some pass game upside there. Didn't get to show a ton of it at Michigan because, you know, you're also in that Michigan offense. Uh, and they were a very run-heavy team. So he got to show off his run-blocking skill set and not so much uh, the pass-catching skill set. Because some of his film, if you go back and watch, because he was a transfer before he came to Michigan, you got to see some of more of that pass game upside, even at other schools. So I like him as a late-round developmental guy that also can come in and potentially be your tight end three right away, and then like a future tight end two. So if you're sure that you make sure to subscribe, we'll see you next time. Peace.